One of the trickiest but most powerful parts of working in Akiro is working with data, which helps your app facilitate button actions, list displays, logins and registrations, and much, much more. There are three primary terms used when discussing data organization in Akiro. Data models, fields, and data collections. When working with any kind of data, you'll first need to create a data model. A data model is a framework for storing data and is made up of one or more fields. For example, your data model might store a name and a phone number. Data collections are individual collections of data and must fit into a data model. For example, if you would like a form in your app to save a data collection containing someone's name, phone number, and favorite animal, you will need to have created a data model that can store these three fields. It's important to note that more than one data collection can use the same data model. In our previous example, you might have one page in your app that's shown to men and asks their name, number, and favorite animal, and another page that asks women for the same information. How do you keep them separate? While both forms are asking for the same fields and can therefore use the same data model, we can keep them separate by saving them to two different collections, one named men's details and another named women's details. Now, we can call on these sets of data separately later on. Here's a helpful analogy to help you understand Akiro's data structure better. Let's say you own a store that sells two different categories of products, books and music records. Every book you scan into your inventory has to have a title and an author, and every record you scan into your system has to have an album name, artist, and a record label. Without these details, you won't be able to carry the product in your store. In Akuro, this would be like having two different data models, one called books with the fields title and author, and another data model called records with the fields album name, artist, and record label. So that customers can more easily find what they're looking for, however, let's say you want to put books on different shelves depending on the name of their author, and you want to put records on different shelves depending on their genre. In this scenario, each shelf would be functioning like a data collection in Akuro. Each shelf of books can still only contain products that fit the book's model by having a title and an author, but each shelf or collection only has one author's books. On the music side of things, each shelf of records only contains records within a certain genre, like rock or jazz, but all shelves still follow the records model by only containing items with an album name, artist, and record label. In summary, the data models dictate the details your products need in order to be scanned into stock, and the shelves, like Akuro data collections, are subdivided collections of data adhering to their respective data model. Make sense? It's a lot to take in, but with a little practice in the platform, you'll be handling data like a pro. And if you get stuck anywhere, don't forget to check out our documentation on data at support.akuro.com.